Well, I, uh, I'm across in France again this week, and uh, last time I was out on Cassian, one of my favourite big waters, this time I'm on one of my favourite small waters, um, Badger's Holt, it's called, and what it makes, you know, it lacks in size, it makes up for in character, it's, it's one of the, the nicest small lakes I've ever fished. It's um, got loads of decent fish in it, probably half a dozen sixties now, I mean I, I've fished it since 2004 and uh, always always caught decent fish but they've gradually got bigger and bigger. I've had a few fifties out in the past, I haven't fished it for three or four years now so it'd be interesting to see how things pan out but I've got a few days on here and uh, it's looking good and I'm really looking forward to getting the rods out and uh, seeing if we can get one of those big gals. Hopefully I'll have some nice fish to show you, a few thirties and a few forties uh, and if we get really lucky one of the big ones. I mean there's commons and mirrors in here up to 65, 66 pounds so you know we'll have to be a bit lucky to see one of them but you never know but I'm going to enjoy this it's lovely here and uh, well see you when we get one <laughs> right second fish of the first day it's a bit lively this one so I don't know what's going to happen uh, but red hot afternoon now but um, I've noticed some fish yesterday afternoon when we first set up under the trees on the far margin they're sort of getting right up under the trees on that bank which is now out of bounds you used to be able to fish it but you can't now um, so as usual they're getting up under the trees where you can't set up but uh, you can get baits under there so I'll put one under there and it was actually a pellet dipped in crustacean extract for this one wasn't expecting a bite but well pleased to get one um, just over 38 pounds 38 and a quarter so a nice afternoon surprise yeah not very steady with this but there's a little bivy on the other side the old globe trotter in front of the the wooden cabin lovely little setup there lovely and peaceful up here fantastic place I'm actually standing right across the other side of the lake more or less on the spot where I had the first fish this morning just along this margin here that was where my bait was somewhere just down there only about six foot from the bank but they're getting all along this bank the fish I've literally just disturbed one under these trees to the right being the clumsy idiot I am there's a few down under those trees and well actually job you might just see it there's a load of fizz and bubbles just come up down there don't know whether you're picking it up but they're coming in very close to this bank so I'm just going to put a bit of bait in there wander along put some bait around the other margin rods further up and uh, hopefully there'll be a, a few more bites later on so these to be the, the margin spots that are going for, it's only the first day but margin spots so far doing the job
fraction under 46 pound, 45, 12. Yeah. Lovely. Beauty, eh? 45, 12. Lovely old fish. An idea I've had this one before at 50 a few years ago. Down in weight, old fish, but well pleased to see it. Nice morning surprise. Whew, let's get it back and hopefully a few more. Lovely stuff. Right, is the, the rig and the, the setup that I've just had that fish on. Slightly different this time, um, going with a, a multi rig type setup. Size 6 twister, 15mm monster squid with a little 10mm purple squid pop up. Like I say, that's multi rig style on the hook. 25 pound silk missing link, a little bit of putty there, going down to rig sleeve, lead clip, 5 ounce lead and tungsten rig tube, I like the old tungsten rig tube, keeps everything down on the bottom. Bait wise, over the top of that is 10 mil purple squids, 15 mil red monster squid and as well as that, mixture of pellets and a few uh, air dried boilies in there, mixture of all sorts in there, and also some old trusty hemp. All that's going together. I'll just literally walk round to the other side and bait up. I'm fishing close to the other side, so it's fairly marginal stuff, about six foot out. So I'll just go round and throw all that in and then put the, the rig on top. So far, so good. Another lovely fish, early morning mirror again, early morning seems to be the best time at the moment. The crack of this one, nice long one, 47.12, really good scrap, but um, seems to be over once the sun's up, between about 6 to 7 in the morning seems to be about the best time for a bite and that's when this one come, but another lovely fish. Let's have a little walk out on the pontoon here, see if anything's about. Just creep out here slowly. Sometimes you might see the odd fish close in. That's us over there. If we pan round, right up the top end there is the shallows. Just been seeing quite a few fish up there actually. A couple of koi's up there. One really nice one actually. Uh, and yesterday I saw three big fish under a, t a tree just on the left hand side at the top there. Don't know which ones they were. There's some good fish in here but there were three very very big fish up there. And they've been showing all along that tree line down there. That's out of bounds now, that bank. Or it is to fishing. You can walk along there. And I've been around there most days baiting up and seen quite a few along there. And caught a couple too. As we pan round this way, across to the trees there. And a couple of fish under those trees. And... There's a fair bit of movement down the side there. They've been showing all the time along this, this tree line. It's a bit difficult to get bait there because it's behind the pontoon. And of course the fish always know that. But there is there is quite a few along there. They, they tend to get there in the afternoon, sort of sun themselves under those branches. Quite a bit of movement down there. Now last night, didn't catch a carp last night, but actually, caught the entire stock of catfish in the lake 
which might sound a bit strange, but there's only actually two catfish in the lake and I caught both of them, which is a bit of bad luck on my part because I don't particularly like them. One was 40 pound, the other one was 62 pound. Um, didn't exactly fill me with happiness, expecting to catch a carp or two and ended up with two catfish, but there we go. The, uh, the fish have actually changed their habits the last night or so. There was an easterly wind blowing and all the fish were on the back of it under those branches on the far bank and those uh, overhanging trees. Um, but since the wind stopped last night, the fish have definitely moved out into the middle more. So tonight, that's where the rods are going to go and we shall see what happens. Plenty of fish showing today but they're all just cruising on top, not really doing much. So uh, it's going to be night time again and early morning. But we have a plan for tonight. Fish the middle where we haven't really had much up until now and we shall see what happens. If it don't work, we'll have to change plans again. But it sounds good to me so we'll give it a bash and see what happens. Fair bit of fizzing going on out there this morning. I have actually got a bait where quite a bit of that's going on, so might get a take soon, you never know. It's in that sort of area anyway, certainly a few fish out there. Looks good for one, let's put it that way. Right, an afternoon surprise in more than one way. It's a red hot afternoon, three o'clock. Really wasn't expecting a bite off of anything and all of a sudden it's gone rattling off. And uh, part two of the surprise was this was what was on the end. Bit of a performance getting it in, it was snagged out in the middle, but um, my name was on it, everything went right. And this little beauty was on the end. There's a few kois in here, not many. And they don't come out very much either. Oi. But, if you calm down long, he did fight hard as well, and he still ain't given up yet. But 24 pound, only a second coil I've ever caught out of here. So, they're not easy, but nice to get it. A nice afternoon surprise, like I say. All good stuff.